And, hi, I'm Randy Wicker, and I'm wondering who are you? My name is Bernie Wagonblast. I'm probably best known by New Yorkers as being one of the voices of the New York City subway. So if you're in one of the numbered line stations of the subway and you hear somebody say, please stand away from the platform edge, you are hearing my voice. You've been part of my life for years. <laughs> <laughs> and unlike all those people that come on the voices in the train, I can hear you very distinctly. <laughs> Well, I had good practice. I was on the radio for many years in New York, so that was great practice for doing subway announcements. I was a traffic reporter, so that was a good experience to report on the subway trains. Wow. And so what's happened recently in your life? Well, I've undergone a bit of a change. Uh, January 1st of 2023, I transitioned socially. So for the first time, I was able to present to the world how I always felt about myself on the inside. I always knew that I was a girl or a woman, but finally I was able to live that truth publicly. Well, it's, it's, it's wonderful to finally be able to be yourself. Oh, definitely. I, I, I had a similar experience because I started going on TV and radio back in the early 60s, mm -hmm. you know, being a public homosexual mm -hmm. and people 400 kids showed up at City College to see me because no one had ever seen a homosexual wow. before. <laughs> An open, confessed homosexual. And it's so funny because now you are, you're actually been part of New York City life. Everyone will tell you they don't know any transsexuals, <laughs> but now they know that you're the voice that they've been living with on the subway for years. Yes. It's just that somehow that you've, in, a little bit of trans is in every <laughs> New Yorker's life because of your voice. Yeah, and you know, people who commute twice a day on the subway, they get to hear me when they're going into work and when they're coming home from work. So I've become a part of so many people's lives. And not only the people who live here, but New York obviously draws people from around the world. So there are people from all over who have heard my voice at one time or another. And are, are you still doing that, or are you retired now, or what are you doing now? I am semi-retired, but I still will record new subway announcements when they need them. My most recent one was in December. So whenever they need some new announcements, I will go in and do those. But I recorded probably a thousand announcements the very first time in 2009. So they don't need too many new announcements from me. They have most of what they need already. And the, I assume that you I think you told, told me that you were really a voice actor in a way. Yeah, and you know, when I, I do that voice, it's the actor part of me. You know, it's in some ways that voice was always an act, but now people can see it as part of what I'm doing as a voice actor. So that is an interesting change. And how a trans person has actually touched their lives without them even knowing it. And what difference did it make right. that you were trans? It doesn't change anything about their subway commute or anything else about their lives other than the knowledge that a trans person is part of their everyday lives. And that is one of the things I want people to know, that trans people, not just me, but the people that you, you know, the police officer, the deli clerk, the park ranger, whoever it might be, you never, you never know, they may be trans and you don't even realize that and they're part of your everyday life. I remember I suggested to you a very ridiculous idea for a new career. Well, what's that? Since, since you're trained, you have a male voice and a female voice, that I think we should have an opera <laughs> where in one you come out and you have your big booming subway <laughs> voice doing a role and then you appear as a female with a female voice playing in the and to have it where people, and I know it's a gimmick, but the world, that's what the world's about. All they need now is 90 seconds of exposure time. You'd be a big hit on TikTok. Well, you were big on TikTok for something, weren't you? There's been a few things that I've been on TikTok for. Oh, really? <laughs> But she, she, told me, she told me some guys whistled at her the other day. <laughs> she, she, 
she has a feminist, she should have been offended. <laughs> if I sang opera, it would be the end of TikTok. They would have to shut it down because I am not a singer and that would not go over well, probably. <laughs> it's wonderful they're having the trans day of visibility because that's what we need to have. More visibility and more understanding that trans people are just people like everybody else. Each one is different. Right. And being trans is just one part of my identity. I'm a journalist, I'm a voice actor, I'm a parent, I'm a grandparent. So all these different identities meld into one person and each one of us has those unique identities that make us individuals. Do you have a podcast? I have several podcasts. Can we plug one? Sure. Well, which ones are I? Well, I'll tell you two. There's one that actually encompasses two different podcasts. It's called Transportation Radio at transportationradio.com. And then there's another one about my hometown of Cranford, New Jersey, which is at cranfordradio.com. But what does transportationradio.com, what do you discuss? There? It's interviews with all sorts of people about different topics involving transportation. So for instance, some recent ones were about the upcoming eclipse, talking oh. about what's going to be happening with that. I hope you live long and well and healthy, and then you become a voice that's beloved by all of America. Oh, thank you, Randy. And it is such an honor to be able to meet you. This is our first time meeting. And oh, to get to talk with you and learn a little bit about your story. You're the pioneer today. <laughs> thank you. And you're much younger than me. <laughs> Should I give a wolf whistle? I can't never. I never mastered that. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.